It's a new twist on one of our favorite comfort foods. Cookbook author Gina Ferreira shows us a new way to make chicken pot pie. Chicken pot pie in spaghetti squash with a puff pastry topping. Oh my goodness, so comforting. Reminds me of childhood and I hope you guys enjoy it. So we are gonna take uh, one spaghetti squash. All we do is just cut that straight in half Use a nice large knife. Uh, if it's really tough and you are a little bit um, nervous about cutting that for the first time, you can go ahead while it's still whole, you can just pierce the outside several times, throw it in your microwave for about five minutes. What it does is help soften the skin just a little bit and then it's a little bit easier to cut. So otherwise you can just take it, cut it, and then we just scoop out the insides, throw those away. Put this, we do a little bit of oil. Let's see where my oil is, All right here. So we're just gonna take a little bit of oil on the inside of both of these and just rub that all around. Put these now, cut side down, just onto a baking sheet, goes in 400 degrees until they're tender, 30, 40 minutes. So with our filling, all we're gonna do is take over medium to medium high heat, three tablespoons of butter. And we've also taken, if you can see right here, uh, some fresh sage and some chopped onions, about a half a cup of chopped onions. Now, if you don't have fresh sage, it's okay. Uh, you could use dried, you don't have to use it at all. I can start to smell almost Thanksgiving by that fresh sage. So once we have our onions that are translucent, just means you can kind of see through them, we are gonna add flour. So it's always equal parts of the butter to the flour. Kind of to make this little roux for the chicken pot pie filling. You just cook that until the flour kind of cooks out at least a minute or so. Oh, this smells so good. I don't know about you guys, but chicken pot pie always just brings me back to childhood just because it's just something that we always had growing up. Once we have our flour kind of cooking out, I'm now going to add about a cup cup and a half maybe of some chicken stock or chicken broth. Okay, just after a few minutes, that is now nice and thickened. So all we're gonna do now is add some salt, some pepper, and we are gonna add our heavy cream. Oh, that's gonna make it so rich and creamy. Now you could use half and half if you wanted to kind of lighten it up a little bit. You could even use milk, but heavy cream just adds that nice richness to this, especially when we add grated Parmesan at the end. So with cubed chicken, so you could get rotisserie chicken. This is just some chicken that I had in our smoker uh, over the weekend. I had a couple pieces of the chicken breast left. So I put that in two cups of mixed vegetables. If you have fresh vegetables, it's, that's great. Right now I had frozen, you could even use canned. So it's basically, what do you have? Use what you have. And then once we mix all of that together, we are going to kind of, once it, it's all great, you taste it, you make sure that your seasonings, your spices, salt and pepper is perfect. Then we're gonna take it off the heat and add in our Parmesan cheese. Oh my goodness, this looks so good. So we're now going to put this all together. Our spaghetti squash will be out of the oven soon. And I'm gonna show you how we finish it off. Okay, so we know uh, all of our spaghetti squash is done. Once we flip it over and we just take a fork to it and it just gets these nice tender strands. So all we're gonna do is just go ahead and put a fork, get all these strands tender and we'll add the chicken pot pie filling to it. My chicken pot pie filling, put it in with the strands, mix that around. Um, now, you can choose right now, if you don't like spaghetti squash, go ahead and take the chicken pot pie, put it uh, into like a ramekin or a large baking dish, then put some puff pastry on the top of that. So just like that, we could put some puff pastry. Now we take one egg and we whisk that egg. So here's the one if we wanna do a ramekin. It's gonna make it nice and light golden brown. Now here, we're just gonna fit our puff pastry that we have thawed. That's gonna go over. I'm just gonna add our egg wash right to the top. Put this back in the oven now. Uh, and we're gonna go at least 
I don't know, 15 minutes. We want that puff pastry really to be golden brown. So I hope you guys enjoy and I will see you next time. Mmm, as usual, my tummy is grumbling. You can find a copy of this website, uh, recipe on our website, 13onyourside.com. We'll be right back. Mm -hmm.